This is the United Bank Playbook with Dana Hogerson and Tony Caridi. Welcome in, everybody. As West Virginia gets set to take on the Wildcats of Kansas State, you said during your press conference on Tuesday that don't be deceived by their record. They might be 2-4, and four, but they're a lot better than a 2-14. and four team. What led you to say that? Well, you just look at their, how their seasons uh, uh, transpired. And there, there's some similarities when, 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 when saying this about Kansas State and saying it about West Virginia, of which nobody really wants to hear, but we say them anyway. You know, that, that they, they got upset by North Dakota State, who rarely loses. Uh, then they come back, they won a few games, and they get into Big 12 play, and they've lost at Texas, who is hungry. They lost at Oklahoma State, who is hungry. And they almost beat Baylor uh, at, at home, which Kansas State plays very well at home. So they've lost three real close games. Uh, they've gotten better each and every week. You know, you say the same thing about West Virginia. You know, we've, we've uh, lost to some good teams. We've showed improvement. So it's two teams that are searching for a win that have lost to some pretty good football teams. You're going to see a superbly disciplined defense here this week. They're going to line up, and they're not going to trick you as to where they are. So with that being said, what's the absolute must that you have to accomplish here on offense? Well, we, we, we can't panic because they're, it's, it's going to be hard to get behind them, to big play them. Uh, you know, it's hard to get loose in the run game. You know, they, they do a very good job of just being sound and being in position, holding their gaps, getting off blocks, being sound tacklers. Um, you know, with that said, we just we got to get better at what we do. We got to put the ball in play. We got to protect uh, protect Clint and let him distribute the ball to the people that are, that are open. And when they give us the run, we got to be able to squirt through there and get some get some yards so it, it'll be a challenge but we've, we've we've faced a challenge each and every week and we hope to get better for this one yeah much said about the end of the game but you did get a chunk of offensive possessions there where you got rolling last saturday you were averaging almost seven yards per carry going into halftime did you see some things from that offensive line this week that you hadn't been in previous games yeah you know the the the, 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 the goal on offense is when they give you numbers you, you, you had it up and you sustained the blocks. And, and, and we got backs that can get through there at a pretty quick rate. Uh, we accomplished that. When the safeties start getting involved like they did against Baylor, we got to take shots downfield. Uh, so Kansas State's a disciplined team. They're going to make sure that you're handing the ball off. Uh, then they're going to fill pretty hard. Uh, we got to do a better job up front of sustaining the blocks, much like we did against Texas Tech. And then when we get it in the open, make the safeties mess or, or big play them over the top. You said during your press conference as well this week that Kansas State's special teams will be as good as you have faced this season. There's no weaknesses? They don't have weaknesses. They're very, very, very well coached. It's something Coach Snyder preaches and he stresses. His, his son Sean's the special teams coordinator. They, they, they have great skill, but then they have a team full of disciplined kids that cover kicks and sustain blocks, and that's the key to good special teams. Coach, we wish you the best this week. Thank you. This is the United Bank Playbook with Dana Hogerson and Tony Caridi.